Hi guys, welcome again to my YouTube channel, The Chef's Table Tour. Again, I am Chef M, your personal chef in this kitchen. And my kitchen is your kitchen. Again guys, please don't forget to subscribe. And once you subscribe, don't forget to click or press the bell button for the personal notifications. And kindly please choose one. And then keep sharing and like all the videos. And you are all free guys to drop your comments and suggestions. Thank you, thank you so much. And today, our vlog is more on the importance of the chef's jacket. It's really, really important to know the importance and the proper use of the chef's jacket. Because nowadays, culinary world is really in demand in our society. Take note this one. Chef jacket is not just a simple and an ordinary uniform that we wear every time we go to work. Remember this one, guys. Chef's jacket represent us. It represents how clean you are, it represents how good you are, it represents your skills, your talent, and the biggest contributions in the culinary society. And also remember this one guys, chef jacket is not a costume. It's not a costume to wear to make fun and to make some popularity to other. And this one is not a passion statement to wear in the parties, to wear I mean, in the mall where you, yeah, while you're walking, this one represents us. This uniform represents us in every form, in every way, in, in every category in the food industry. That's why let's give some respect to this one. Guys, why chef jacket made like a double busted? O yung tinatawag nilang uh, overlapping. Bakit ginawa siya na double busted or overlapping? Ibig sabihin, meron siya dito, and then i-cover mo siya doon. And then pwede siya dito, then i-cover mo din siya dito. So this button is possible on the other side. And this button is possible also in this other side. Reason why, reason why, especially when we are working guys, it's really important to secure the other pace. Kasi not all the time we work in the kitchen because there is also time na papatawag ka sa HR or boss would like to talk to you. So, so that if this side is madumi na siya, you can change it on the other side para may, meron kang isang malinis na side. So, when you go out to the kitchen, you are presentable and you are still clean. So, that is the purpose of over, uh, double busted or uh, overlapping. And the other thing is that Kung nagluluto ka and uh, natapon mo yung mainit na liquid, it's not easily na pumunta doon sa skid mo. But first is pupunta siya doon sa first layer ng uniform mo and then doon sa second layer. So bago siya makarating doon sa skin mo dito sa dibdib, guys, hindi na siya ganoon kainit. So yun ang isang protection niya. And then, why chef jacket is always white? Why not blue? Why not red? Why not dark color? Considering dark color can maintain yung mga domena na encounter natin sa kitchen. Guys, that's why white ang pinili is because it symbolizes cleanliness and your purity and your loyalty sa pinagtatrabahuhan mo at sa ginagawa mo. Because sometimes and most of the time, customers doesn't see kung ano yung piniprepare natin. It's just because of our white uniform. Kaya tayo pinagkakatiwala guys. Kung napapansin niyo guys, chef jacket is always made with a uh, small packet dito na dalawa. So yung dalawang packet na yun, one is for your ball pen and the other one is para sa spoon, teaspoon or chopstick na ginagamit mo na pan -taste. So yun ang lagi mong gamit kapag tinitikman mo yung mga pagkain. And of course, you have to sanitize it before you use it. And then after you use it, you, use it, you have to wash it. So then, ilalagay mo dito sa ating packet, small packet dito. And kung naitatanong nyo guys, uh, bakit, bakit kailangan na yung uniform is kailangan maluwag siya? Because if your chef jacket uniform is fit, too much fit sa body mo, it control your movement. It control your movements and it control your steps guys. So every time na gagalaw ka, limitado lang. Like for example, my uh, chef jacket is really fit now and then meron akong gustong Abutin, napaka-limit guys. And it's take time para maabot mo yung kukunin mo. Kasi kinokontrol nung uniform mo yung movement mo. But 
Kung yung damit mo is maluwag like this, mas mabilis yung paggalaw mo at paggabot mo ng mga items. Again guys, Chef's Jacket did not design na fitted sa katawan natin. Kasi this one is dinesign siya as protection and not just a uniform but protection natin pag, pagdating sa trabaho. Yes guys. And this one, kung napapansin ninyo, like for example, if you if your size is small, better better to wear medium or large para mas maluwag siya. And kung ang size mo is medium, better to wear large or extra large. So that that way magiging comfortable ka, guys. Okay, kung napapansin niyo, this one is really big, guys. So this one is my uniform when I work in a cruise. So I was just a medium, but ang kinukuha ko lagi is extra large or large kasi I, I feel comfortable sa haba-haba ng oras na pinagtatrabuhan mo, you have to make sure na comfortable ka sa mga damit na susuotin mo. So this one is yung length ng kanyang arms. So, mapapansin ninyo lagi, yung pinakadulo is makapal. And supposedly, this one is mas mahaba siya. This one. Dapat, mas mahaba siya doon sa kamay mo. Kasi this one, this part, guys, this part, is pwede mo siyang gawing pot holder. Kasi nung unang panahon, ito yung ginagawa nilang pot holder. Pag hindi nila ginagamit, tinutupi lang nila like this. Pero kapag gagamitin nila, tatanggalin lang nila yan, and then gagamitin nila as pot holder. And most of the time, makikita mo laging dark color yung dito sa ilalim ng chef jacket na to. Kasi nga, ginagawa siyang pot holder. Okay? Another thing is yung pants mo. So it's really also important na yung pants mo hindi siya masikip. Hindi siya fitted, hindi siya, uh, I mean, hindi nakabaston. Hindi siya naka-straight cut, but it's maluwag. And most of the time, guys, ang, 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 ang uh, pants ng mga culinary, it's a style like pajama. It's garterized, hindi button, kundi garterized. Kasi, pag malambot at maluwag yung, uh, yung uh, pants na sinusuot mo, even mag-slide ka, it won't hurt your legs. Mas madali mong mamove yung mga legs mo. Kapag meron kang ina, uh, I mean, uh, ginagawa or... Uh, uh, inahakot sa mga stocks mo, mas mabilis guys ang steps mo at ang movements mo. It's because maluwag yung pants mo. And guys, working for more than 8 hours a day, it makes you feel fresco. It makes you feel relaxed and uh, refreshing kasi maluwag na maluwag yung damit mo guys. I mean, uh, yung pants is yung apron. So, this one is yung tinatawag nila na long dress apron. Kasi halos nasa ilalim na ng tuhod mo yung, yung apron. And this one also called 2-in-1 apron. Why they called 2-in-1? Guys, this one, ito yung harapan niya. But kapag nadumihan niyo ito, pwede mong ilipat sa kabila. Kasi dalawa siya na magkadikit. Ayan. Dalawa na magkadikit yung apron. And both side is meron siyang small pocket. Why small pocket, guys? Para saan ang small pocket? Small pocket is for uh, a small notebook or uh, uh, for, for uh, some uh, details na kailangan mong tandaan, for some uh, uh, take notes na kailangan mong i-take notes. So, pwede mong ilagay dito sa pocket niya. And how to wear a... Uh, apron. As you can see guys, meron siyang mahabang tali. So, this one, hindi siya sinusuot na ganito lang. And then, irerable mo sa likod. So, that is wrong, wrong, wrong guys. Kasi, if you carry something na mabigat or if you are carry, carrying something and then uh, working with a, uh, with a lot of people and then biglang natanggal yung pagkakaribo ng, ng apron mo, Guys, posibleng ma-accidente ka or maka-accidente ka pag napaan nila yon. So, this one guys. Ulitin ko. So, this one. And then, this one. And then, papunta sa harapan. Alright. Alright. Papunta sa harapan. And then, i-ribbon mo siya ng dalawang beses. for uh, safety. And then after that, makikita mo meron pa rin siyang sobrang tela dito. All you have to do is to fold 
at least two to three times. So this one. So yan guys, wala nang kawala yan at hindi na yan matatanggal. Alright. Why is uh, double, uh, double uh, dress apron is kailangan natin siya sa ating trabaho? Kasi like for example, the first, I mean uh, the side A, ito yung ginagamit ko kapag nagtatrabaho ko. And then kapag madumi to, and then biglang pinatawag ulit ako sa office, similar dito sa aking uh, chef jacket uniform. So I just need to turn it into side B para malinis yung aking apron. So, this one is one sample ng apron. So, guys, so this one is uh, usually ginagamit ng mga pastries. So, maliit lang siya. So, same procedure. <coughs> Tayo, guys. Then, after that, ipopold lang natin siya. Katulad ng ginawa natin kanina. But this one, guys, is very short. Nasa taas lang siya ng tuhod ko. Unlike the other one, it's just like a dress. Nasa, alos nasa pa ako na siya. But, ang advantage ng mahaba guys, it's protect you talaga. So, kapag merong natapon, automatic yun. Didiretso yun doon sa pinakadulo ng apron mo. Hindi yan didikit dito sa, sa uh, apron, I, I mean sa legs mo. And, uh, reason why bakit... Uh, Dinidiscourage ko kayo na bumili ng mga uniform na pitted, especially for the ladies. Again guys, no, uh, chef uniform is not for passion. This one is for your protection. And then uh, I also discourage you to wear, especially for the ladies, na, na mga spandex na leggings or any form of leggings na super fit sa legs ninyo. Kasi kapag natapunan kayo ng mainit na too big or mainit na soup or mainit na mga pagkain, 100% diretso yan doon sa skin mo. Pero kung maluwag yung mga pants niyo, hindi yan basta-basta didikit doon sa skin niyo sa leg. Same doon sa chef jacket niyo. Kaya, ini-encourage ko kayo, if you buy chef jacket, bumili kayo ng mas malaki doon sa size niyo. Because chef jacket is not just a uniform, but it is your protection, guys. Okay? Oh, well. Okay, towel is not just a display or accessories. No? So, most of the time, guys, towel is dalawa ang ginagamit natin. Isa para sa personal needs and the other one is para sa pagkain. So, madalas iniipit lang natin yan dito sa ating apron. So, again, guys, the other one is for food and the other one is for personal use. So, yun ang function ng apron natin. And apron is also possible for fat holder. Pwede mo rin siyang gawing pot holder kapag wala kang available na pot holder. And, chef jacket, towel, and apron, guys. Kapag magsi-CR ka, you have to remove this one. It's really important. Because in the comfort room or in the CR, it's also possible na mag-entertain ito or mag makakuha sila ng mga bacteria na galing sa CR na po pwede matransfer sa mga pagkain because nowadays I saw na ang dami-dami mga estudyante coming from different universities and local colleges na suot-suot nila yung chef jacket galing sa bahay papunta sa school kasi habang suot-suot mo itong mga chef jacket guys habang suot-suot mo itong chef jacket possible na maraming mga bacteria ang didikit dito and when you touch the food possible na matatransfer din to. Especially, if you are in the salad area. I mean, in the salad section, hindi mo nalulutuin yun, ready to serve, possible na matatransfer yun. I'm not just referring those sa mga estudyante, but also, yung mga ibang nagtatrabaho din sa mga small restaurants and hotel, na nakikita ko, na papasok sa trabaho nila, is ginagamit nila, na, I mean, sinusuot na nila, yung kanilang mga chef jacket, which is, that is a big, big no, guys. Maling-mali po yun. Kasi ang chef jacket, kung wala kayong personal laundry area, I mean, kung wala kayong personal laundry outlet sa inyong uh, uh, establishment, itago ninyo ito sa bag ninyo and then isusutin lang siya kapag nasa loob ka na ng iyong uh, kitchen. O na okay, next guys. So, we're done sa ating uh, apron at saka this one. Again guys, no, papaalala ko lang. Be aware sa tamang pagsuot ng chef's jacket. 
Huwag na huwag nating susuotin na chef jacket na papunta sa ating trabaho. Even sabihin mo pa meron kang personal vehicle, ang pagsuot po ng chef jacket is kapag nasa loob ka na ng premises ng hotel o ng restaurant na na pinagtatrabahuhan mo. Again, if you have if you don't have a laundry uh, area na free laundry para sa mga uniform niyo guys, better to keep inside your bag and then wear it when you are inside the kitchen. Na. And then before wear it, just make uh, make sure na nakapag-sanitize kayo ng inyong katawan at saka nakapag-ugas kayo ng inyong mga uh, kamay. Kasi again guys, kailangan natin i-observe yung cleanliness and of course yung sanitation sa lahat ng bagay na ginagawa natin. Okay, may pa-pula ako isang idadagdag na apron. So yung pinakita ko sa inyo kanina is for pastries, yung maliit, and the other one is yung uh, uh, double-sided na mahaba na apron. And this one, lahat yun is uh, half body. And this one is a full blush apron. So eto siya guys. So meron siyang ko na sinuso dito. And then, same procedure. So, mahaba yung tali niya. Then, itatali mo lang siya. And then, itatali sa harap na. Alright. This one is same procedure. Uh, I prepare this one kapag nasa hot kitchen ako. Or, I prepare this one pareho. Pag nasa hot kitchen and cold kitchen ako. Kasi, it protects my personal uniform sa loob. Kasi nga, bago mapunta sa aking chef jacket, Dito na muna sa harapan ng uh, apron ko. So, this one, guys. Okay. Scarf. So, dalawa ang klase ng scarf. Isang triangle at saka isang perfect perfect square. na uh, Katulad dito. This one, guys, is a perfect square. So, kapag ginagamit mo ang perfect square, you have to fold it like a triangle. And then, dun mo pala siya pwedeng gamitin. Okay. This one is, ide-demo ko yung aking triangle already. So, mapapansin mo, nandito yung tatak niya. So, if fold natin siya, depende sa lapad na gusto mo, guys. So, this one. Alright. And then, after that, paplansyahin mo lang siya. And then, i-wear natin siya na pag ganito. Okay? So, this one, guys. So, ilalagay mo lang sa likuran. And then, make sure na yung isa na mag-overlap sa taas, Mas mahaba siya doon sa nasa ilalim. And then, this one, the two finger, nasa ilalim. And then, itong pangatlo, magkiklip siya. So, that one. And then, overlapping pataas. And then, ipapasok mo lang siya doon sa pinakabutas. Pwede mo na siyang ilahin. So, again guys, depende doon sa sikip na gusto mo. And then, put it inside. So, this one. So, this is scarf controlled your uh, pawis na nanggagaling sa ulo at saka nanggagaling sa liig mo. At the same time, it protects your uniform dito sa side na to para maiwasan mangitim. So, this one, guys. So, so I have my scarf, I have my apron, I have my chef jacket, and I have my towel. Okay, the last one is yung shoes. Okay, I have here. So, ay iba kung ano-ano na lang shoes na ginagamit nila. Again, guys, we have official chef's shoes. Okay, this one, guys, is uh, matigas ang nasa harapan niya kasi kasi nga it's a uh, protected siya. Any any form na mabigat na nahulog kay chopping board pa yan, hindi ka basta-basta masasaktan kasi it's safety shoes. Pag sinabi mo safety shoes, meron yang bakal dito. At kung mapapansin nyo, hindi siya detalye at hindi ganoon kalapad yun dito niya kasi it's easy to wear and it's easy to remove. So this one, kapag basa yung semento, kumakapit siya. It's a little bit expensive but it protects your life, guys. So this one is chef shoes. Again, uh, chef, can I wear a sho uh, shoes like uh, made of cloth or something? You can wear whatever you want. But, ang pinag-uusapan natin dito, guys, is yung protection ninyo. Yung safety ninyo. Kapag nagsuot ka ng cloth na shoes, kapag merong natapon dyan na mainit na soup or mainit na liquid, 100% mabilis dumiretso yan sa paa mo. Kasi nga, hindi siya plastic. Mas mabilis tumagos yung tela na liquid na mahulo kumpara dito sa mga ganito. So, it's a little bit expensive, but it saved your life.
Plus, it's a chef too. Again guys, if you are a cook or a prior or a commis sa kitchen, ang iba is ginagamit nila is bull cup, yung para sombrero. Sombrero is also possible. And then if you are ladies and uh, even uh, for men na mahaba ang buhok, pwede tayong gumamit ng hairnet and then at yung ating, uh, yung ating uh, 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 chef dough. Okay? So this one is uh, basic na plain lang, then niroroll out lang dito sa ating ulo. So, this one, guys. So, ayan. So, ang tamang pagsuot po nito is ganito siya, guys. Kailangan na cover niya yung noo mo para yung pawis na nanggagaling sa ulo mo, automatic dito, nasasalo na ng hairnet mo. I mean, na, ng uh, chef toe mo. Huwag natin susuotin na nakaganito yung chef toe natin kasi may buhok pa rin na nakalitaw so malaki din ang chance at possible na may mahuhulong na buhok at mapupunta sa mga pagkain natin. Again, guys, this one is another uh, chef toe. So, according to research, chef toe, yung split, uh, plits ng chef toe is based siya doon sa dami ng experience mo. Kung gaano kadami yung plits ng chef toe mo, ibig, sa doon, ibig sabihin ganun kahaba or kadami na yung experience mo. Yung height naman ng chef toe mo, if your chef toe is like 2 meters, O more than 2 meters, ibig sabihin, executive shot ka na, o yun yung tagal mo na sa profession. Okay? So, meron din ako nabasa guys na yung chef toe daw, I mean yung uh, plates, is yung number din ng mga dish na kaya mong gawin sa same ingredients. No? So, again guys, this one is meron na siyang hairnet. Ayan guys. And then, uh, susuotin lang natin siya. Again, this one is for to avoid na merong uh, hair falling. Ayan, guys. So, this one. So, again, guys, hair net or a chef toe, scarf, chef jacket, apron, uh, towel, and uh, shoes is not accessories. It's not just a uniform, but it is your protections when it comes working in a culinary world. Again, family and friends, Sana marami kayong natutunan sa aking uh, vlog today na ang chef uniform hindi po siya basta-basta sinusuot mula sa bahay papunta sa trabaho. Kasi ito po yung nagre-represent kung paano ka ka-determinado. And family and friends, maraming maraming salamat po. Please don't forget to subscribe and share and like all the videos. Again guys, keep safe. God bless. Ciao.